Today we are grooming Rhonda. She is a rescued Rottweiler. She just went to her new home about a year ago. I have no idea how she's gonna behave for professional grooming, but hopefully all goes well. We did make friends prior to the bath. I gave her some treats and I laid on the floor with her. She's a very loving dog, but she is really, really nervous, I can tell. Those of you who watch my channel, you know that I love Rottweilers. I think they're fantastic dogs. Um, this is a very, very well-bred Rottweiler, so I am very surprised that she ended up as a rescue. She's gorgeous. Perfect size, I love her face. I really want one of you. Okay, I'm gonna hit you with the water, but I'm gonna put it on low, and let's see how you are, okay? Okay, good girl, Rhonda. Very good girl. Okay, what a good girl. What a good dog. The person that adopted this dog is extremely lucky. That's all I have to say. This is a gorgeous Rottweiler. Are you scared? Are you scared? Your tail's between your legs. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Rottweilers get a really bad reputation for being highly aggressive dogs, and that just couldn't be further from the truth. Growing up with three of them, I can tell you that they were incredible family dogs. They were great with us as kids. They're just, they're awesome dogs, and I definitely will have one again in my future. Maybe sooner rather than later, eh? I think the reputation that they get is really unfair because they are just the happiest, loving, love cuddles. What's that noise? Love to be pet and can be extremely intelligent and fairly easy to train. Good girl. Good girl. You're a very good girl, even though you're scared. I get a lot of questions about being in the shower with dogs that I don't know and how that could be dangerous. You're right, and one day I hope to have a different shower set up, but I usually spend some time with these dogs prior to starting their groom, just so I can get an idea of what their temperament is gonna be like. So I, I check to see how they are when I approach them, if they let me pet them. I check to see how they are when I bring the equipment near them. I turn the water on to see how they behave for the water. And it's really just all a matter of watching the body language. As she came near me, she put her body into me, she wants me to pet her. Usually a dog that's gonna be aggressive or is really scared of the person that they're around would not just allow that. The owner did tell me that she doesn't like to be hugged. And actually I've seen quite a few videos of Rottweilers not really enjoying that. So that's something I would avoid doing is putting both my arms around her because that makes her nervous. Your name is Big Rhonda, but you're not that big. So one of the things I try to do when working on dogs that I'm on a, I don't know, is I try not to go over their head too often. Sometimes when you put your hand over their head, they can take that as a threat. So I wait, I do the whole body first and I see how the dog is before I decide that I'm gonna put my hands on their head. Very good girl. Okay. Can you wash your face? Oh, good girl. Okay. You're a good girl. You're a very good dog. Good girl. Yes. <laughs> You're so sweet. You gotta rinse. Stay. Good girl. Good girl, Rhonda. Good dog. Now Rottweilers, in my experience, typically hate having their nails done. The owner told me that he does her nails at home, which makes me kind of confident that I'll be able to do it, but it might also be because she trusts him. So hopefully we can get the nails done today, but we shall see what happens. Good girl. Big, scary Rottweiler, eh? 
make sure all that soap is out of you. Okay, so Rhonda had one shampoo, one conditioner. Now I'm going to towel dry her and hopefully I'll be able to get her on the table. She likes to be scratched, so she might enjoy the blow dryer because she likes it. So because I don't know how Rhonda will be for the blow dryer, I'm gonna leave her low on the table just in case she decides that she's going to fly off like Superman because then at least she won't get hurt because she's very low. If I were to raise the table up and she were to fly off like Superman, she could really hurt herself. So we don't wanna do that. This is an extra large because Rottweilers tend to have very bulky heads. So the extra large fits a lot better. Girl. Good girl. Yes, very good girl. Very good girl. Just want to see if she's going to bite it when it gets closer to her face. No, she likes it. I had a feeling you were going to like it. Yes. Good dog. Took a little pee break. Now we gotta go back on the table. Good girl. Yes, that treat is for you because you are just the most perfect dog. I'm literally obsessed with her. That's all I have to say. You gonna let me do your nails though? You can let me do your nails. Oh, oh, you're so sweet. Yes, they look really short. What a good dog. <laughs> he definitely takes care of these at home because I can't really take anything off. Ooh, that one, the quick is showing. Not the one that I just clipped, another one. She must have grinded on the ground. Your nails are really short. Okay, let's turn to the other side. Okay, I've never met a Rottweiler that is this good for nail clipping. Are you an angel? Where did you come from? Now the Equi Groomer de-shedding brush works really well on Rottweiler coats, but she basically had no hair coming off when I was blow drying her, so I don't think that she is really shedding. She either already went through her big spring shed or she is just not quite there yet. Some people when they order this brush, they will say that they can't get any hair off their dog but this is a prime example of a dog that just is not blowing its coat yet. As you can see with the blow dryer, there's no hair on the wall. So she's just simply not shedding. So sometimes if you buy this brush and you use it and you think, hey, nothing's coming off my pet, you might wanna wait until their designated shedding periods, which are usually the fall and the spring, and try the brush again. Now, obviously these dogs shed all the time, but you get quite a bit more hair off of them during their heavy shedding periods. So you're done because you're not shedding. I'm gonna spray you with cologne and I'm gonna take you outside and you and I are gonna have a cuddle session. Yeah. And I may not call your owner and just tell him that you ran away. So Rhonda took me a whopping total of 45 minutes to groom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this perfect angel's groom today, and I will see you again in a few days.